So to begin printing, simply turn the printer on. You want to take your SD card facing you and upside down. There's a little slot back there that it goes into. And you'll feel a little spring. Mine is actually broken, so I just push it down all the way until it's engaged. And then once you do that, you should be able to simply hit print, find your file. It'll usually be at the very bottom of the list. The one we want is right there. Hit OK. And the print will start. So if you want to change filament, if the bend is uneven, uh, these are going to be additional things you have to do. But to simply start the print, all you have to do is follow the instructions on the front. Hit uh, print from SD card, find your file by scrolling up and down, and then hitting OK to select. If you ever need to go back and you're in some sort of menu, let's say you're through here and you don't, don't know where you are, and you want to get back to the main menu, you simply hit back. And to select is going to be OK. And so just hang out, watch your print. If it's going to fail, it is likely going to fail in the first 15 minutes or so. And then you can hear that fan that just kicked on. So wait for that to heat up, start printing, and watch those first layers or so until you feel pretty confident that the print is going to uh, be okay. So the front of the screen says it's about 198 of 203 degrees, and the platform is about 54 out of 55 degrees. So it should begin printing any moment here. You want to make sure the right extruder is not heating up. And then let's take a look at this. So there goes the extruder head and the hot end. And it's going to be difficult to see, but it's going to start printing. And you're just going to kind of watch it. You're not going to be, not going to be able to see on camera what's happening. It's just too fine right now. And the filament, you can see it's a bright kind of greenish color. So it's also a little difficult to see on the screen. But you're just going to watch the print, make sure that the filament is sticking. If you see it begin to curl and it's not sticking on the platform, you're going to have to look through the troubleshooting guide and work on uh, seeing why that is. It may be that the printer is the printer nozzle is too far away from the bed. It could be that it's too close. It could be too hot or too cold. The bed could be unlevel. There are a few different uh, things that could be wrong with it. So we'll let this print for a little bit and then we'll take a look at it. So there you can see that filament. It's like a aqua colored, turquoise colored filament. And it's, it's even really hard to see in real life because that extruder head is constantly the way. So what you have to usually do is look ahead. They can see the handle. And if we wait for this to move, then you can see the head of that print. So just keep watching it. Make sure that all the layers are sticking. And then come back and check on it in a couple minutes. Removing 3D prints requires a little bit of finesse. It's not all about prying the 3D print off and forcing it off. When you're done with your first print, you want to first mark the clipboard and put the time in so the studio can keep track of how many hours each printer is using. It also helps us track in case there's a, pro a problem with the printer and we can ask that person if they experienced any issues in the past. If you need to lower the bed, you can simply just push down on the bed until it lowers to where you can get your hands in there without uh, bumping everything around. So you want to use the palette knife on the side of the machine. There's a palette knife on the right hand side and it's very thin and sharp. So you don't want to, you know, accidentally stab your hand and slide with it. So always make sure that you're pushing away from yourself and you're working your way around the print. 
You don't want to use the pala knife as a pry bar because you'll just bend it. You want to wedge it. So find an edge, find an edge that you can get under, and if it's hard to get under, just work your way around until you find a little give. And you can see that the, the pallet knife slides under, and it be begins to break that, kind of like a seal. But you can see I'm pushing away from myself. There we go. And then I'm going to work my way towards the middle. And that cracking is just the sound of the print breaking away from the bed. Again, I'm not popping up on it. I'm not pulling up and using it like a pry bar. It's just to get it under there and kind of break the seal. And you can see how my arm slipped there. So that's why you always want to push away from yourself. Don't use your hand to try to catch the print. You can easily slice into your hand with this piece. So now you can see it's loose. Easily pop that off and you can see this is the brim. Take that off, remove any debris. You know, make sure the nozzle is cool. So if the printer has been sitting for a while, it should be nice and cool. But if the print just stopped, allow it to cool uh, to where that cooling fan right on the front um, turns off. And then you can turn the printer off on the back. So just remember to mark that time down. And to if you have any trouble with the print or the printer itself, make sure to mark it on the maintenance clipboard.